So this is just a quick presentation on how to draw Bohr diagrams. These will be similar to what we saw in the last presentation. These are diagrams that show the number of electrons in each shell that an atom has, and this is how you draw them. First, you find your element on the periodic table. When you find that, you can determine the number of electrons total that the uh, element should have, and that'll be the same as its atomic number. This is how many electrons you will draw. So carbon has an atomic number of six. Then you need to find out which period or row your element's in. Elements in the first period we know have one energy level. Elements in the second period have two energy levels and so on. So you draw a nucleus with the element symbol inside. Carbon's in the second period, so it has two energy levels or shells and then you draw those shells around the nucleus. Then you add your electrons. Carbon we saw needed six electrons. You uh, draw in the, the electrons based on the maximum number that those shells can hold. So carbon can hold two electrons in the first shell. And you generally start drawing on at like the three o'clock position and then you move yourself clockwise, I think. Since you already have two electrons in the first shell, you're going to need three, or sorry, four more. These go in the second shell. Start by adding these one at a time, starting at the three o'clock position and going around counterclockwise. So check your work. You should have six total electrons for carbon, two in the first shell. Second shell can hold up to eight. Third shell can hold up to eight and the elements in the first few periods only use eight. So try drawing these Bohr diagrams for the following elements. We've got hydrogen. That should have one electron. Helium, also in the first period, but has a full outer shell. That should have two electrons. Oxygen should have eight. Aluminum should have 13, neon should have 10, and potassium should have 19. Again, you always start your drawing here at the three o'clock position, and then you move yourself counterclockwise around. So if this were my first electron, we keep the electrons, as you can see, located at three o'clock, 12 o'clock, nine o'clock, and six o'clock. So if we're going counterclockwise, my next um, drawings, my next electrons would go here, and then I'd go here, and then here, and then here. And since that was only four and I need eight in this shell, I would keep on going backwards around the clock. And then we end up with these electrons in pairs, which is going to help us when you start looking at how atoms bond to each other. So you should be able to draw Bohr diagrams for the first approximately 20 elements on our periodic table. If you have questions, let me know.